This is a quick part two to this little test. I am going to try cutting a 16 inch section from the big 4x8 sheet. In order to do that, set up a table here, something like a straight edge here. I have a wire running all the way to the ceiling, um, but I've got my earth and my hot connections just that far apart. The wire absolutely cold up here, very hot in between those two. Um, I haven't tried guiding it along yet with the uh, with that guy, uh, so this may be a disaster. But we're gonna do it in one take. So I'm putting the big piece into position. Okay, well, as I said, uh, should have had my straight edge support myself uh, for a longer distance and should have put in something to support the uh, off-cut piece. All right, I hope you can hear me and I hope this focuses. As you can see, I have set up my uh, wall adapter, my current controller, not voltage, and... Uh, my wires, I used a couple of V blocks. I don't know if you can see the, barely just see the wire suspended there. It's a little bit better focus. Um, and I essentially clamped two V blocks to this bench. And for tension, I have a weight hanging. Uh, to keep the wire pretty taut. Um, other than that, I did my very first little test cut, and it has problems, but they're not as bad as you might think. That's the uh, airfoil shape. Uh, what I did for that was to just cut two pieces of plywood to match the airfoil shape, which I printed on my uh, laser printer. And then I wrapped it with some aluminum tape just to give it a slightly smoother surface. I'm going to try cutting the other side of this test piece. We'll see how it uh, how it goes. So I'm turning on the heat there. I'm going to give it a minute to warm up. As I said, I did my first piece, and there's a, a, a terrible gouge right in the front. I don't know if you can see that, but more than not, it's a it's a it's a pretty good shape. Uh, So here's what I'm learning. Having a smooth track to follow is important. I don't have a smooth track. Having a great deal of precision and patience is important. I don't have either of those. Having the right power regulator is important. I don't have that. So obviously this is not a full width piece. One idea I have is to make the wing out of two pieces. Let's see, I'm not quite wrong there. All right. However, again, for the very first shot, we've got some goofy grooves uh, up front. You see I stalled there. I, I missed my mark there, but I don't know what you can see. We've got the basics. Again, this is, uh, this is my very first try. That's not as awful as I thought it would be. 
But, okay, so we have problems on the leading edge. Some people put like a nail coming out of either of these sides so you can rest on the wire at that point and get going. This is the least important part of the uh, airfoil, really. Best thought, best thought. We'll work on a way of getting the nose better. Again, that's a, uh, it's a promising first step, considering I'm not taking any of the precautions you're supposed to take in terms of setting up a piece of equipment of some kind to just very carefully move it along its uh, path.